Girl, you need to love yourself again. A lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. Hey, a lovely day, lovely day. Hey, back with another video. Hey, back with another video. I said I'm back. I'm excited about this video. The Lord is good. And I know this because in 1 Chronicles 14 and 34, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Y'all, we are back in this thing. What is up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Marisha Lawson, AKA Lovely Re, and welcome to my channel, lovelies. Welcome back, welcome back. Listen, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn on that notification bell. So with that being said or further ado, we just gonna go ahead and get right into the video. Listen y'all, the title of this video is Girl, Love Yourself Again. So we're gonna kinda get deep in this video a little bit, so go ahead and grab your tissues, okay, and your little snacks because by the end of this, I want for you to be able to start your loving yourself or self-love journey. So go grab your tissues. I'm gonna give you a second, okay, to go grab your tissues and to go grab your notebook and your pen so that you can write these things down as well. All right, so y'all, like I said, the title of this video is Girl, Love Yourself Again. And I know that I can speak to this title so much, much because I have been through it. It's not like I'm cutting on this camera and saying, well, because um, that sound, that's like the right thing to do. No, I know what it's like to feel rejected. Okay, I know what it's like to not be accepted for who it is that you are or the way that you look. And a lot of the times, you know, society or the world, uh, a lot of the times will base you by, by how you look base you by what car you drive, base you by what house you live in, base you by the type of money you have, base you by all of these materialistic things. And one thing that I had to learn is that I can't change this. You know, I can't change this. I can't go and and even if I did, if I even if I did go and do outside work on myself, it's still in the inside of what I'm feeling about myself that's not right. And for me, I was bullied, y'all. I was taught about my skin color, um, how small I am, um, my uh, my gaps, um, how small my eyes are. Like I was talked about I was like the ugly duckling and if many of you know that is a part of my testimony that I share um where I definitely wanted to end life altogether so many times because of what other people were saying about me down to even family mem uh, family members rejection feeling that rejection feeling like I'm not worthy feeling like I'm not valuable and I remember going to the mirror several times and looking at myself and saying oh my god like you are ugly like you're you just you're nothing like nobody's gonna want you you're horrible like whatever and looking in the mirror and telling myself that because it was based off of what other people thought about me. And you know, you hear that saying of, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. That is a lie. Words hurt. Words hurt. People say something to you and it sticks to you. It sticks to you to this day like it sticks. And I can't say that it's going to be an overnight process of you you being able to love yourself again or or if this is even your journey to start loving yourself. Um, it's not an overnight process. For me, it took time to heal from those different things to, to look at myself and, and say, dang, I am worthy. Dang, I am valuable. And I tell people this all the time. If you have breath here on your on this um, earth, if you're walking, if you're living, if you're breathing, then there is a reason why you are on this earth. And it's like God wouldn't hand create something 
for it to be dysfunctional. He wouldn't hand create something if you was not useful. He wouldn't hand create and pick you for this moment to be here on this earth if you was not worthy. So today, I just wanted to kill some of those things. And, and, and the world says, you know, or society says, you know, it's okay to have a little insecurity. No, it's not. Insecurity is a lie. Okay, insecurity is a lot. And I know, you know, sometimes you, you may have your days and I can't lie and say, you know, you may not, I may not have my days, but I know for a fact that I am worthy. And that is what I want to speak unto you guys today because you got to love yourself. And I know this is so, 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 so cliche to say, but it's so true. You cannot. Okay, you cannot love no one else at all if you do not love yourself. I know that sounds so cliche and I know everybody and their grandmother and, and everybody be saying that, but it's so true. You can't because how can I give love if I don't feel the love within myself? You get what I'm saying? And I, I wanted to touch back on, you know, like I said, you can do all of these outside things, all these outside things, all these outside things, but you still feel that same way on the inside. And for me, it wasn't until I started believing that about myself where things around me started changing. Like, I started believing that I was beautiful. I started believing that I was worthy. I started believing that, okay, I do matter. And then everything else around me had to fall in line with me feeling that I'm worthy. So I could hear a million times how beautiful I am, how worthy I am, how valuable I am, right? But it wasn't until I started believing that for myself where things uh, around me started being like, like a aligning to whatever that was but it was a process y'all like it was a process and I always wished to be someone else like even if they was an ounce cuter like I just always desired to be someone else I never just wanted to be me because I just I, I just didn't love myself and I even remember praying before going to school, Lord, please let them think that I'm, I'm cute or I'm beautiful. I don't want to go through another year of being bullied. And that's just how bad it was. So I'm coming here today, y'all, to just drop some tips to y'all of some of the things that I did in order to allow me to fully be able to love who I am inside and out. And I tell people this now, I would not change myself for the world I'm not changing nothing about me on the outside, inside. I don't want, I, I love how God created me, period. And that's the part that I want to help you guys with today. So the first tip, guys, of you loving yourself is actually to groom, grooming yourself. Meaning to, even though, yes, it don't, matter, like you can, you can do the outside, but if this is it, you know, together, but grooming does help in a process of you starting to love yourself. So that means, you know, getting some nice clothes, get your hair done, um, start taking yourself out on dates, do doing things like that. It's, it's little things that can help build you to you loving yourself and things like that, because that is uh, true as well. When you look good, you feel good. And so even if you start implementing some of those things, and a lot of times, Sometimes, you know, you're not going to do something you sometimes, okay, it, it goes two ways. You got people who um, don't love themselves and it shows on the outside that they don't love themselves. But then you got people who don't love themselves, but it don't show on the outside because they fix themselves up, but really in the inside is jacked up. So... Grooming, I would highly suggest. I started grooming myself. Like I started doing my hair. I started, you know, um, 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 taking myself out, going on walks. Um, I even went out to eat um, this one time by myself. Like start doing stuff like that. Like loving on you, showing yourself like, okay, like I'm really spending time with you and I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like love on yourself, start that grooming process, okay? And I wanna get back to that, but the rest of the stuff, 
I'm gonna I'm get back to the grooming, but cause the rest of the stuff is gonna fall in line with the grooming, right? So the next thing, which this one is very, very, very important, y'all, is to speak life unto yourself. Oh my gosh. I remember doing an exercise one time, and I believe that the exercise was um, you had to write out um what people say about you how you feel about you and then i was able to see all of what god feels and says about me and when i started writing now if i'm not mistaken y'all um i wrote out what the world would say about marisha how marisha felt about marisha and then compared it to what god says about marisha now when i looked at what the world said about marisha and i looked at what marisha say about marisha that was two completely things from what god says about marisha what god said about marisha is that i was more than rubies or that i was more precious than rubies what god said about marisha is that i was fearfully and wonderfully made what god said about um marisha is that i have overcome because he has overcome what well, God says um, about Marisha's I'm fearfully and wonderfully made um, there's another one there's so many of them that I am loved that I'm rejoiced over like all of these things that God has said that I'm valuable that he has said about me but then when I looked at what the world was saying about me the world was saying that oh I'm too small I'm not beautiful I'm not this I'm not I'm not gonna get to this if I look at my situation I look at where I'm at that I'm not gonna never amount to anything and so I started comparing and I'm like, well, how can the world say this about me? But then this is what God says about me. And if God was the one that created me, then I'm going to listen to what God is saying because what he's saying about me matters and, and outweighs what anybody else got to say about me because nine times out of 10, they probably broke and hurt too. Okay. So you got to speak life unto yourself. You got to start knowing, like you got to start speaking that stuff, like speak things as though they exist. Even if you don't believe it right now at the moment, if you keep on saying it, you're going to eventually believe it. So if I wake up every day and I tell myself I'm beautiful and I start saying it every day, every day, every day. I'm going to believe and start believing like, oh my God, like I am beautiful. And one thing that I did in my journey of self-love and loving myself, I started writing down affirmations and Bible verses and I stuck them on my door. So I will, and I stuck them on, on my mirror. So I would highly suggest to y'all to do the same thing. Like write down those affirmations or write down those Bible verses. If you put up every day, uh -huh. I am more than rubies. Rubies are precious. Rubies are are expensive. Rubies are uh, beautiful to look at. So if God is saying that I'm more than that, then let me put that on my wall so I can see that every time. So when anybody on the outside tries to say anything about me not being that, I can say, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lie because this is what was said unto me. Or even affirmations, I put up um, like, like quotes and stuff like that as well. Um, I can't remember. It was one by Coco Ch Chanel. Uh, I can't even remember y'all. But I put those up in a place where I knew that I would be able to see them every day. And when I saw them every day, y'all, it made just things so much easier for me to start just loving on myself. So you got to start speaking life. Sometimes we, we hear so much negativity and that's why you got to be careful about what you're putting in your ear. You got to be careful about what you're listening to. Even like music nowadays. The music now is so degrading to women. Like let's be real. It's so 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 degrading and so disrespectful and if you keep on listening to that listening to that listen to that you gonna think that you are like that that you're less than what it is that you are so you gotta start listening to things that are going to encourage you and that's going to be able to build you up instead of listening to this all day long i'm trapping out the house dj cut me up da 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 her shaking her thing like ah like come on now like you got you can't keep putting that into your spirit all day long because you're going to that's what you're going to feed off of and it's negativity that you're feeding off of even certain shows 
I know that there was a period where um, God had told me I couldn't watch Mary Jane no more. And it wasn't about, you know, insecurity. It was but because of how sexual it was. So I, I had to stop watching Mary Jane. And y'all used to love being Mary Jane. <laughs> I used to love that show. But I had to stop. And, I, and since God told me to stop watching that show, I've never watched that show ever again. So... You got to also be mindful of what you're putting inside of you because whatever you put inside of you is going to uh, is going to come out of you. So whatever you put in, you're going to put out. OK, so if you're constantly all day long putting encouragement inside of you, then you're going to be encouraged and you're going to begin to love yourself. All right. Oh, and that goes, I guess, over to the next thing to start being mindful of what you put in your spirit. So that just goes back into what it was that I was just saying. But you got to be mindful. Oh, I'm glad that I, I saw this. But even on social media, um, there was um, some times where I had to unfollow some people. Honestly, when I got out of high school, if I'm not mistaken, I started my whole Instagram platform over. I started it over. I didn't even want to see none, nothing that was attached to who it, who it was that I was like. I didn't want to see nothing that was attached to my old self or my old like being. Like I didn't want to see nothing that was attached. So I completely started over. And I ain't telling you to go and start over your whole Instagram. But what I'm saying is even stuff that you even see online and... A lot of the times we're looking at people's lives and we're constantly comparing ourselves. Comparison is tied to insecurity. So it was so hard for me to break away from that insecurity because I always was constantly comparing myself to someone. One, because when I didn't love myself, I was always constantly comparing myself to someone. And then not only that, family members was always comparing me. So it was always a comparison instead of me just being myself. So when you're on social media and you see that this this um, Instagram model or this uh, other person is getting all this praise and getting all these likes and getting all this stuff because they may be showing themselves off and you start doing the same thing and now you're selling out to be something that you were never even called to be. So you got to be careful also what it is that you are putting inside of your spirit and what it is. So certain things I had to unfollow. If you see and and and, and y'all, your explore page and your timeline represents you. Like if I could go on your explore page on your timeline and see all type of crazy stuff, then that's the all type of crazy stuff that you've been in. So some of that stuff you gotta like, all right, like she about to get unfollowed. He about like when I started like if somebody follow me and they posted all this crazy stuff on their on their um platform, I'm not following them back because I don't want to see that on my timeline. I don't want to put that into my spirit. So you gotta be careful about what it is that you are putting inside of your spirit. Number four get around people who are going to pour into you now i know you know we talk about you know business wise getting around people who you want to become like getting around maybe the celebrity that you want to become or or be like or or whatever the case may have been but you need to get around people who's going to pour into you who's going to encourage you who's going to be able to see the goodness that's inside of you that's going to be able to see you the way that god sees you if you get around a whole bunch of people and they talking negative and they don't love themselves and they down out and they broken you gonna be stuck right there with them you got to change your circle and change your around. That, that's just like, let's just say if you trying to get out and you trying to do something, you trying to, you trying to really make it, but your circle is people who ain't really trying to go where you going. And anytime you tell them about this plan or this idea or this thing that you've been wanting to do, they shut it down because they don't see where you can go. So you got to get away from those people because they're going to keep you in a place and keep you in bondage and keep you believing that you're not capable and that you're not worthy enough of what you were called to do. So you got to be around people. And for me, my, the people that I thank God that I was able to be around is I don't even honey i don't even consider them as church family but i tell people that so that they can get the idea but they my family um 
and God allowed me to be around them and they helped pour into me, pray for me, love on me, care for me until I became who it is that I am today. And I'm still learning y'all. Woo! We still going, we still going there. Ain't nothing all that about this. But we all are. Um, but what I'm saying is I would have never made it this far had I not been around people who truly loved me and wanted to see me be who God called me to be. So you got to be around people who's going to pour um, into you. Um, you got to be um, around people who see how valuable you are and how worthy you are because they're going to they're going to push you to become they're going to push you. Okay, they're going to push you to love yourself because there's no way that you can really step into your kingdom purpose or into your assignment without knowing how worthy you are. Because that's saying so real too. If you don't stand for something, you ain't going to stand for nothing. So you go get inside of whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing and you're going to fall because you don't know how good and how worthy you truly are. So get around people who's going to pour into you. Get around people who's going to encourage you. Please do. Change that circle. Change that number. Uh, change that call log because you got to get around people who's going to love and, and build you up and support you. All right. So then the next one I put down here because this was a part of my process and maybe this could be a part of yours is to start wearing your natural beauty. So this is going to go back to the grooming start wearing your natural beauty and i say this because y'all in a part of my process especially when i was in high school i got into makeup and y'all there is no i'm not saying that don't wear makeup i ain't saying that I, 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 okay i got on makeup right now but what i'm saying is is that i put makeup on so much and matter of fact i'm gonna say okay let me let me rewind i'm gonna just stay right here um when i was in high school i wore makeup all the time and one i love makeup like still to this day i love makeup it's not as how it used to be back then but i was into makeup all the time but then i started wearing makeup a lot and a lot more and a lot more to the point where I would not even leave the house, y'all, if I didn't do something, if I didn't do my eyebrows, if I didn't put foundation on, if I didn't, like I had to do something to my face in order for me to be considered beautiful before I walked out the door. So there was a point or a period in my life where as I was getting closer to God or getting closer to Christ, I wasn't wearing makeup. Because I wanted to love my natural self and who I naturally am. And it, it worked, y'all. I sometimes, like a lot, no, ain't no sometimes. All this, I like my natural face more than I like my makeup face now. But that's how it should be. It shouldn't be, well, I'm putting on this makeup because I'm covering myself because I don't love myself. If you putting on makeup, it's okay because I want to enhance, you know. I want to step out a little bit, you know. I want to do a little shun shun today, you know. Not... Well, I'm putting on makeup because I don't love myself. So, I gotta put on makeup. Like, no. Love your natural self. Love your natural beauty. And it even it with me, it was so bad because I didn't love my natural face. I didn't love my natural hair. I hated my natural hair, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Because I got that. I got that 4C hair. Like, that thick, thick, thick hair. That curl, 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 curl into them tight, tiny curl hair. That shrinks so bad, it looked like my hair about like this long hair. Like that's <laughs> that's the type of hair that I have, and no no shade and nothing. Like shoot, I got short hair now, and I love it. But I did not like my natural self, so I always had weave in my hair, and I always had my face done in makeup all the time. Never fail. Um, and so I'm saying that because that starts to build build you up. Like that starts to build you. I feel y'all. I love my natural face. Like, I love it. Like, I be trying to take pictures of everything. Like, ooh, mm, 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 skin on 10, skin on 10. You know what I'm saying? So, 
start doing those type of things too like just walk out the house one day with just being naturally you your natural hair your natural face and that's what i had to do i had to start coming out the house with my natural hair i was so insecure y'all oh my god but it, it took me stepping away from the weaves and stepping away from the makeup to say you know what i love me i love me and i look just not not even just as good i look better with no makeup than I do makeup. Okay. So that was a part of my process. Just loving me naturally me as well. So then I have this last thing that is right here. But before I go into this last thing. Is I put down here as a pointer. Which I think I mentioned this earlier. And I say you know. Well you know what. I'm going to say that afterwards y'all. I'm kind of all over the place with these notes. But. Um, I'm gonna save that after but what I am going to say right the last and final and most important tip that I have down here y'all this is the most important tip to self love and to loving yourself y'all ready y'all ready to have to have a relationship with God. You got to know the one who created you to be able to love yourself, okay? Like, he knows you. He knows all about you. He knows your ways. He knows how you are. He knows who you was called to be. He knows who you were meant to become. Like, he knows you, okay? Like, he knows you. Like, how you gonna try to love yourself without loving the one who created you? Like... Come on, you got to be able to build that relationship with him. So while you're building the relationship with you, you build the relationship with him because he's going to un unveil and reveal more things about you that you didn't even know about yourself. He knows you more than you. Like, he knows you more than you know you. So there was things about me that I was shocked and surprised about. Like, okay, I can say one thing. Y'all... I did not like speaking in front of people. Period. Like, I don't like speaking in front of people. But I believed for a long time that I was just this shy person, this timid person. Because like I said, I was in the world. And because I was getting bullied and teased and picked on all the time, it made me become this, you know, shy, quiet person. But that's not really me. But it took me getting into Christ to know, like, dang, like, I'm a whole, like, goofball, a little loud, um, you know, <laughs> um person like and i do speak in front of people i still don't like it but i speak in front of people and but the like i said the world will try to tell you something that you are not that that, that you're not that's not who you are and that's not your identity so you have to have or, or be building that relationship with him in order for you to fully know how worthy you are because he's gonna tell you how worthy you are all right y'all so we are back because my camera died but yes, as I was saying, that you got to have that relationship with him. And as you build that relationship with him, everything else will pretty much fall in line. You would know who you are called to do or what you was called to do. You would know who you was called to be. And you'll know all of those different things. So just, you know, having him as that solid foundation. And he'll start revealing unto you like things about yourself that you just honestly did not know. I'm telling you uh um 2017 marisha is a whole completely different person for 2023 marisha like that's a whole completely different person even 2022 marisha is completely different for 2023 marisha because i'm e ever evolving because of him he started revealing more and more and more stuff about you um to yourself so those are all of my tips, guys. I hope that this was so helpful for you guys. Um, of course, I'm going to be doing more videos like this, just letting you guys know just some of the things that I went through and just would love to share for y'all. But one thing that I want you to leave with this video um, with today is that you are capable. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are lovely. You was made out of his image, okay? And I want you to get out of your head that, 
you insecure and that you're never going to amount to nothing and that you're not no 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 that is a lie you are beautiful and you was created to be something so much bigger than what you think okay so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below some more uh, tips that I could share or just um, how your self care or self love journey has been. And I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.